Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be building a giant stove oven house thingy in Minecraft. As you just saw in the comment that's either has already been on the screen or is currently on the screen right now. Don't know yet. Um, but before we do, I do have some news. Our shadow garden is officially closed. Oops. Is too hard to keep track of. And um, a lot of comments are happening now and i can't put everyone in so anyone who is in here congrats to you um so congrats to you 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 too uh congrats to you too wait you're already in my dinner aren't you right no, apparently not uh congrats to you congrats to the game lodge uh subscribe to the game lodge by the way I uh, subscribe to Potato and Young, by the way. Subscribe to these two. These two are actually really good subscribers of mine, so uh, they're special. Uh, congrats to you. Congrats to you. Congrats to you. Congrats to you. This, um, congrats to you. Bowden Lumley's a good person, so he deserves to be in here. Same with this person, Self Plague. Congrats to you. And congrats to you, too. You are all the people of the Shadow Garden, so uh, congrats to all of you. Now, this big stove, I don't know what it is with people wanting big appliance, kitchen appliances, but uh, next might be a fridge or uh, I don't know. So let's get right into this. So for the materials, we are going to need light gray concrete, white concrete, uh, what did I need? Oh, that's what I need it for. Uh, blue stained glass, white stained glass, red stained glass, black stained glass, block of quartz, and quartz stairs for the interior, and obviously a redstone door. Um, so first we're going to come to our microwave if you haven't built it already, or if you're just building this somewhere else, um, then yeah, but if you've built the city, build it three away from your microwave, place a block, now face it, now you're going to come down by, um, ten, so same as this, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, sorry, so it should be a length of twelve in total, so we replace one plus eleven, that's twelve, then we are going to come this way by 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're going to bring it by this by 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we're going to bring it this way by a number that adds up so it connects. All right. Now that we've done that, we are going to have to build it up by a total of, I think it's 14? Yeah, 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're only going to go up by 11 because I feel like it just gets too tall from there. So yeah, just do whatever I say because I am not the best at instructing, but I am a pro at building, clearly. Like, look at these, these everythings. I built a cake. That... That cake is actually in large cake. That took me a long time to build. All right, so once we've done that, we're going to build it, bring it all the way back and connect it to uh, there. I'm using the shadows to help me um, line things up. Uh, you can hear intense mouse clicking. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I have a super good suppressed mic. So, you know. Probably won't for a long time. I like this headset. I might get like an actual mic, but I don't know. I like this headset and the mic sounds good. You can just hear a lot of sounds. So maybe I'll get a noise suppressor or something. Maybe I can do that in OBS Studio. If anyone knows if I can do like noise suppression in OBS Studio, tell me because that would be really helpful. All right, guys, now that we've done that, we're going to take our great concrete again. And right here on the very end, we're going to build up by three, one, two, three and build a row in like this and we're just going to build it like bob the builder who's pro at building and then up by two over here or three story and then connect this okay now we're going to fill this in and then after this we're going to need our white concrete so we can build the knobs and dials um, so we're going to place one like that, leave a space of two in between, like that, leave a space of two in between, one like that, and right there. So you should have a total of four knobs, because we're going to have four burners. Um, and yeah. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our blue stained glass and make a circular square around the whole thing. And some of this, just an FYI, some of this circular square blue glass, whatever, will be removed. This is just for a barrier so we know everything and how math is going to work. Even though I'm not too good at math and I do not understand it at all. Or why we have to learn a lot of it. All right, so we've done that. Now what we're uh, oh, I'm died. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our white stained glass, and right here uh, we're going to actually we're just going to make square burners, I guess. So I need to see how much uh -oh, how much space in between one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, take your white glass. Go one, two, space. Oh wait, what? Okay, one, two, so leave a space from there. One, two, like that. And then we're gonna come like down like that, down like that, down like that to mark out our burners. These are some pretty small burners, if you ask me. But uh, it's also a small, oh, that did not go as planned. Neither did that. All right, destroy that. Now we have to add more burners. So uh, it's pretty simple. You just do that. Then you just do that. And then the good thing is now it connects to one cool burner thing. So it's less work for us. Um, so like that. And like that. And like that. Okay, now inside the burners, we're going to fill it with red and or black stained glass, depending whether you want them on or off. Oh, and my parkour skills failed. And also, guys, on February 12th at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be doing a uh, Scriblet stream if you want to come and watch and possibly join. There's a way. I don't know how. Okay, so now that you've done that, fill everywhere that's not filled with blue stained glass um, for a nice looking color thing. So there's the top part of your stove part. Now we got to do the oven. By the way, the guy asked for the stove, but we're combining it together. All right, so you're going to take your light gray concrete and you're going to go up by two this time. Um, like last, uh, whatever, just go up by two from what we've already placed. To find the middle, so let's say that's right here, wherever you want. Then we are going to make that as a door. So we're going to place two blocks there and leave that for now. Now what we're going to do is build a outline slash barrier like this. All the way around the whole thing. Like this. Uh -oh, like that, that, and that, and that. Then right in the corners we're going to place a block like that. To make it look curved. Then we're going to take our black stained glass so it looks like it has a glass door. So it's a glass door. In case you didn't know what a glass door was, it is a door that is see-through and it is glass. Just just an FYI. Hopefully you knew that. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you're younger and four years old and for some reason watching my YouTube videos. Maybe you accidentally click on it when you're watching your Dora or whatever on YouTube. I don't know. All right, so we've done that. Uh, it's pretty nice. Now we're going to have to add the handle, which... I didn't think through, and I was going to put it right here, but we're going to put it above. Okay, so we're going to take our court. Oh, you can't put stairs sideways like that now, can you? That ruins it. Okay, anyways, place your courts like that, and place your courts like that. Uh, come out by one like that, and we're just going to pretend there's a stairs there. Wait. Like, oh, that's the best we're going to get if you do. No, we're just going to put nothing there. I guess that does look good. I wish I could do that, but rotate that. Oh, wow. That's kind of tough. All right. So we do that. Now, um, off camera, we're, uh, you and me, whoever's watching, we're going to fill in these walls with the gray concrete. And I'll be back in a minute or two or never. Bye. Okay, last few blocks. And guys, one thing that I did realize while I was building this, while I was off camera building, is that um, this is a giant microwave. Then either this is a normal size stove, or just a really small stove, because that must be a really big microwave then. I don't know. This stove seems a bit small, but uh, 
again, I didn't want to spend, like, where's the Death Star? I didn't want to make it, like, as big as a Death Star. Like, this could fit in, the, like, I could put, like, four of these in my Death Star. But, anyways, now we're going to go into the Redstone Door. And before I do anything, you guys notice that I didn't have any lights in my inventory at all. That's because we have natural light. Let's go. That's amazing. Alright, so we're going to get our pistons. We're not going to need, like, any of this right now because we're doing interior stuff. Alright, so we get our, all our redstone stuff. So, our lever, redstone dust, redstone repeater, and sticky piston. Then we're going to put piston, 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 piston facing towards you. Then two more attached to the two blocks we placed earlier. Um, then we're going to take a concrete block or any block of your choice. You're going to uh, destroy that one there. Um, place blocks like that. Place, 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 and destroy. Uh, we're going to place, click. Place, 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 and take our lever, place one there, place one there, shut it, and open it, and then shut it. So that's pretty cool. That's a redstone door. Very simple. I think I made a tutorial for one also, so uh, go check that out if you want. Okay, so what I didn't realize is that, again, you can now still see the redstone through outside. That's, that's, that's tough. Okay, so now we, as last time from the microwave, we need to make everything in the interior look like a stove or oven so um if we want to get our beds out we're going to need black beds gray beds and white beds yeah black gray and white beds so if you want to get those out then now is your chance if you guys want to know how i'm doing this awesome build hack and um not and destroying and placing both blocks at the same time uh, you can do this on console or PC. All you have to do is just click your place and build button at the same time. And it replaces the current block with, with whatever. Okay, and then... Math. Alright, so now that we've done that, we are going to take our bed. So, bed, we need uh, black, white, and light gray. So, we're going to come over here and build our bed. So, first we're going to take a uh, gray bed and we're going to place 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 so three for now then we're going to take gray 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 so that's four beds uh maybe destroy one then we're gonna place some for knobs like that then we're going to place a gray bed a gray bed black 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 bed uh black bed black bed black bed black bed um gray bed Gray bed, gray bed, and gray bed. Stove. That looks really... That's a bigger... That's a huge bed. But, uh, yeah, those are the buttons, the knobs. All right, so we've done that. Now we need to make the kitchen with a stove in it. So for the stove, we're going to need a furnace and a trap door of your choice. I'm going to go with birch trap door. <gasps> no, I'm going to go with jungle trap door. That's so much more perfect. Then we're going to need some bookshelf. We are going to need some quartz, which we have in our inventory for the counter. And a shulker box for the fridge. Alright, so we're going to take counter, 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 counter. So it should be four by, so it's three by three plus one in the middle. Then we're going to place our fridge, so shulker box. Then we're going to do this all the way around until right here. Then we're going to do nothing because we don't need any lighting. Then right here or wherever you want, we're going to place the furnace. Jungle trap door like that. And if we do want the burners on top, um, we could take a trap door and make it look like a grill. Or like have actual burners by using an oak trap door like that. And then it does look like that. Or you could put a campfire there and have a working thing. But yeah, that looks pretty cool in my opinion. So I'm going to clear my inventory. Um, now we need a smelting system that looks like a stove. So we're going to need our furnaces. We're going to go make the border. So it's going to be four. We're going to make a bit... Um, oops, we need... Uh, now go up one. Alright, so here we're going to... Now we're going to place the buttons. So one, two, and the screen. Alright, so you see, looks like a stove. We have the, we have this body... We have the two buttons and the screen, just like our microwave stove thing. Um, then we need a storage room, so we need some chests. We need one of each kind of chest. Mine look like uh, these, so they're different. 
So we're going to take our normal chest and we're going to go one, two, I guess in this case, three, one, two, one, uh, one, two, three, like that. Then we need the buttons, which will be that and the screen or the, um, uh, the door. So there we go. We got our chests. It looks, looks pretty normal, I guess. So yeah. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the stove build, which is actually quicker than last video, even though this is like a thousand times bigger. I don't know. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want me to be building more appliances, then uh, tell me in the comment section below, and uh, your comment will be put on screen because you people are weird. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.